Welcome back to the channel. Today we are definitely talking about some of the things that I get asked quite a bit about, especially as superchargers with uh, new drivers, especially. And those of those people who don't really know, it makes sense that they're asking. And what they're looking at is, I guess the reason that they're asking some of these questions is has to do with, well, the kilowatt average, you have a line, obviously, and that line is where it's rated at. And then the dotted line is basically your average, is what you're doing. And I get asked a lot of times by people because, you know, how can they get close to that line? A lot of the people are way above that. They're, you know, that's a, that that's 200 uh, watt hours per kilometer is, the, is where it's rated at. And my average right now, for example, is 167. I actually do around 150 to 180 and that all has to do with how you drive and that's a very very important part to understanding what it is that you're doing and how it is that you're driving when you're driving uh, more aggressively you're going to have that go up that's just part of the that's just the way that works so for you to calm it down and, and relax it, you need to have your average in a way so that it, in order for you to get your average down, which basically means extending the, the range that you have, the projected range, you need to be careful how you drive. And I'm not saying granny driving, I'm saying be, you know, drive normally, drive by the rules, if you will. But I think more importantly is understanding how to use regen. Now, I myself, I don't use reg I don't use brakes almost ever. I do use Regen to a very, pretty much to its maximum capability. Uh, I challenge myself on, especially days like this where I'm just out and having fun, I give myself little mini challenges and I try and see, can I get, you know, from point A to point B without touching the brake? So basically I'm playing predictive you know, predicted driving. So I'm trying to predict what everyone else is doing. This is easy to do on a highway. Uh, keep your distance and, you know, just relax. The other thing I noticed is having your vehicle on autopilot on the highways definitely drops that average. And that average is dependent on X amount of factors. One of the big factors that you have to take into consideration is whether you have a lot of uphills, downhills, how steep they are. Those really, really come in play. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive and hopefully the camera I have set up here, the GoPro is going to show you guys just basically what I'm doing and the speeds that I'm doing. I am gonna be using the highway to, uh, to do this video. If you guys wanna see me do one in a city, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do one in the city as well. Uh, the camera, the GoPro up front should be able to capture for you guys the average uh, watts per kilometer in the past 50 kilometers. Right now it's at 167 and we're going to actually try and bring that lower. One thing you will notice is at times that's going to go up and down. When you're taking off or you're using a bigger uphill, you're definitely going to add to that. But on average, you, just, you should be around the 170 to 180 mark. Uh, at least that's where I should be. So I'm gonna try and do that. Let's see if I can get that pretty much worked out. It is also worth noting that I have the AC on currently. So because the AC is on, you know, you are going to use up a little bit more, but you should be fine. And yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. Now, I'm also gonna give you guys a little bit of explanation on what I'm doing. And I didn't bring my other GoPro, which I normally would have with me so I can have it facing forward so you guys can see where I'm going. But instead of staring at my face, I'll probably uh, just turn this camera around just so you guys can see the highway and what's going on. So as you guys can see, I have the, f I switched the camera around so you guys can uh, see where I'm going, what I'm doing. And as you guys can see, the average went up to 168 mainly because while well, I am kind of just turning around and not giving a car not giving the car to just kind of do what it needs to do but it's going to fluctuate throughout the whole process the faster you take off the more energy you waste and I think this is something that's really really important for people to understand don't take off you know rapidly at the same time 
the speeds that you're staying at, keep it simple, keep it clean. Don't, uh, the, the more smooth you are with your speed, the better your, uh, your average is gonna be. That is something that most people don't do, especially in Teslas. I understand why it's a Tesla and you wanna just kinda, you know, boot it. Go with your, uh, use that torque, right? Now, as you guys can see, I went up to 172. That and it's dropping down to 171. This is all depending on what what I'm doing. Right now, it's going to be a little bit of a downhill, but I do have to pick up speed to get onto the, onto the highway. So we're just going to pick it up a little bit. And so the 90 is the speed limit in this area. Um, I'm going to put autopilot on and just let's follow traffic, do what we got to do. And one thing you will notice is the green bar, as you guys can see, I am regen, I am using the regen right now on the way down and because it's, it is a downhill, which also brought me back to 169, 168. And you see, it, it's gonna keep doing this throughout the whole process because ultimately what's happening right now is I'm regening. I'm just not wasting power, but rather I'm getting power back into the car. As we're starting to go uphill, you'll see that the line is going up into the orange, which means that the car is using up energy. However, if you maintain your speed limit, uh, more often than not, that little bit of energy you're wasting is very little. It's not a lot, and so it's you're not gonna see a, a big rise in terms of your, um, your uh, consumption. Now, granted that being on a highway or being on a uh, you know with more cars around you you are the car is going to react to the vehicles ahead of you so as you can see my car cannot maintain right now just continuously going or or regening it kind of does both depending on how you know the car ahead of me is, do, is uh, doing but as you can see the average is sticking around the 167 we haven't really lost much we haven't really gained much it's just been very stable Again, we're going a little bit downhill, and so that's putting power back in rather than taking power out. And we have to touch the steering wheel. So a lot of the new people who, who get their Teslas ask me about this a lot. I'm gonna put up the speed a little bit here so that we don't have an issue. But uh, a lot of people who are new to uh, Teslas, they, this is kind of one of their big concerns because they're seeing the numbers go up into the 200 plus areas. And when you go up into the 200, you're obviously gonna end up charging a lot more because you're wasting a lot more of your battery power, your energy. So your your distance that you can travel is so much less. And so people ask this question quite a bit. Well, you know, the car is rated for such and such, but I'm not seeing my car doing that. Is there a reason? Am I doing something wrong? Is something wrong with my, with my uh, battery, for example? And the truth is, nothing is wrong with the batteries, nothing is wrong with your vehicle. What's end, what ends up happening, it's all about you. Keeping an eye on that average does make a world of difference if you are worried about, you know, getting the best possible range. Now, again, as you guys can see, it's, it's pretty straightforward what the car is doing. It's not complex, it's not complicated, we're just going. And believe it or not, in the city, this is actually better than it is on the highway. As you, as you can see, now we're down to 157, and yet we're still going, but the bar is going down. You're not using much. When you see a little bit of orange, it's really, really not much power being used. It's a, you don't wanna have that orange go all the way up to the 75 or the 150 or even the 300. When you punch it and just go, that bar rises a lot. Now obviously for Model 3 owners, it's gonna be a little bit different uh, because you don't have the same graph on, well basically you have one screen, so you don't have the same, uh, same graph I'm showing you. But I do have a friend of mine who's buying a Model 3 and I did convince them to let me do a video with the Model 3 as well. So as soon as they have you know, their Model 3 delivered, We'll let them play around. I gotta teach them a number of things anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a follow-up video to this with a Model 3. The Model X and the Model S is basically the same thing. Uh, so uh, yeah, this video will apply to both Model S and Model X. To a degree, it also applies to the Model 3 because initially, well, 
in reality, that's ex you're doing the same exact thing what you're doing here. It's just that you have a bar going uh, horizontally, you know, left, right, rather than the way it is in on the screen currently. So, as you guys can see, because I'm on a highway, I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour. I'm using a little bit of uh, power, obviously. You guys can see a little orange over there. But I'm doing around 165, 164. Now, this is not a level highway. Uh, obviously, the camera is not going to capture that, but it's not a level highway. There is uphills, there is downhills, and so forth and so on. So, the car does need to basically adjust to all this, and that's where you see that fluctuation happening. But because I am sticking reasonably close to the speed limit, you can see that it's not making that drastic change, it's not going crazy. And the peaks are very close to that average bar, so the dotted line you're seeing. It's going to keep going up as long as you're going uphill, but it's going to drop uh, and start going down as long as you're going downhill, or if you're using a lot of regen. So in this case now, because we're going to go a little bit down, you see it's using regen. It's really not going to use too, too much power unless the vehicle ahead of you starts picking up a lot more speed suddenly. And that has to do with the car trying to maintain and keep up with the flow of traffic at the speed that I set it at. So, as you see, it's it's a pretty basic explanation. I think this is the more, uh, you know, uh, explanation for dummies, if you want to call it that. The bottom line is you do want to hold that bar as close as possible to to the average and you want that number to be as low as possible currently we're doing 161 162 and if you can do that you're gonna be perfectly fine so ultimately it really does come down to your driving uh, and what you're gonna end up doing and how you drive the harder you drive the, the worse your average gets so if you just drive normal and you know, you keep everything very nice and simple, you're not gonna have an issue. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. It's gonna be, your, your numbers are gonna stay low. Basically, all that means is the charge that you put in your car stays in there longer. And hence, you have to go less to the charger or you have to plug it in less. What I do is I try and do my best to be the best possible uh, uh, driver and to be the most efficient driver I can be. And in order to be the most efficient driver, you want to, again, you want to keep that number as low as you possibly can. Everything comes down to how smooth you keep your car. No jerky moves and just keep everything at a nice steady flow. And if you can keep everything at a nice steady flow, you're not going to have any problems. Ultimately, it is a very simple way of, uh, you know, extending your battery life. And again, I hope this helps many of you because this question comes up so often with so many people and they have the graph, even people who've owned the car for, you know, two, three years, they still come and ask me about it and biggest question is always, how can I get that number lower than 200? Majority of the people are over 200. I'd love to know what your numbers are, where, whereabouts you are on your, uh, on your dash. So if you go to your, to your Tesla right now, and you look at the average, try and do it over the past 50 kilometers. If you look at your average, leave a comment below and let me know what is your current average. And if you have any questions, any further questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I'm gonna try and do my best to answer those questions. And if enough of you ask the same question, I'm gonna go out and make a video specifically on that. But as I said, you can do the same thing in a city. You know, right now autopilot is driving if I was driving, I might actually be able to do a little bit better. And the key reason for that is because I can kind of plan ahead and, and uh, decide what the cars are doing a little bit better than autopilot can. So I can see further ahead and I can kind of determine, you know, some of the X factors. So yeah, ultimately I can do better than this. Currently we're standing at 153 and Again, we're not going downhill. We are actually, right now, it's pretty much just up and downs. But um, that's just the guy who pulled in front of me now. <laughs> so yeah, ultimately, it's, it's really, really that easy. You wanna extend your battery life. Um, you wanna charge less. 
keep that average as low as you possibly can. Now, if you can do anywhere between, on the Model S and Model X, if you can pull it between 150 to 180, you are doing great. You don't have to worry about it. Obviously, uh, if you think you can do better, uh, yeah, do it. Um, it's only gonna benefit you, ultimately. So, absolutely. That's pretty much all I gotta say about this. I know it's uh, it's a very weird scenario because a lot of people have these graphs and they're not really sure how to read it. They do see the the bars over there, and but they're not really sure how to to look at it or what they should take away from it. So I hope this is a simple explanation. I know it's a little bit longer video, but I hope it's a simple enough explanation that you guys get it. You guys understand what I'm trying to say. So once again, bottom line, keep your average uh, what what hours per kilometer as low as you, you possibly can. Right now I'm doing 152. We started at 167. So as I pretty much showed you, it's very, very possible to do it. And in the city, believe it or not, it's just as easy, if not actually easier. So with that said, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate each and every one of your comments, your those of you guys who subscribe, I appreciate you because I'm trying to get this channel to uh, 1,000 uh, subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave your comment, uh, leave it in the comment section and I will catch you guys on the next video. Drive safe, everyone. Bye.